Oh, you probably recognise him, mm -hmm. Cristiano Ronaldo. There's Pepe, of course, as well. The Real Madrid players are looking. And you wonder tonight whether Cristiano Ronaldo or Jean Luigi Buffon. Yeah, I saw a lot of them. The Spanish, uh, the Real Madrid boys were. There's Danny Carvajal. We'll see his first action for Real Madrid tonight since the first leg of the semi final against Atletico. Finally, a positive touch here of the ball for Ronaldo, who can tee up Luka Modric. Juventus have picked up that way tonight. Ronaldo looking to get in here. Giorgio Chiellini right alongside him. The thing is, Flex is that Chiellini doesn't have to make the challenge. Cristiano's never getting there. He doesn't need to do that. Three assists and a goal in the semi-final. Ronaldo. Real Madrid midfield has been so important in the Champions League campaign this season. Here's Ronaldo. Danny Carvajal. Cristiano Ronaldo! Who else on a big night? Who else to open the scoring? Cristiano Ronaldo for Real Madrid. Same old story. Did it into them? Doesn't look too impressed. The main man does the business yet again. Lovely play by Real Madrid. Tony Cross, good turn of pace. Benzema, who's played this, who started this game really well as well, fizzes out to Ronaldo. Great movement from Carvajal, who fizzed it back to Ronnie. Bang! Such a slight deflection. See here to take it away off Benucci, take it away from Buffon. And we talk about the goals he's got in the Champions League, he didn't score for his first 26 games in the competition, and here he goes again. And he's not going to get the free kick here. And Juventus with three on two there in the box as well. What a goal by Mario Mandzukic towards Benzema and Chiellini was in there and Ronaldo tries the man Zukic. This is flopped wide anyway. Snuffed out that night in Amsterdam. Real haven't retained the trophy since 1960, the days of Di Stefano and Puskas. Oh, he's limping Mario Mandzukic, he doesn't look great. Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, Tony Kroos, here's Marcelo, now Ronaldo, Kroos. Cristiano Ronaldo with the first goal of the Champions League final, he's 41st of the season, he's 104th in the competition, but a special goal by Mario Mandzukic. The, the uh, pivotal tactical switch in the second half, here's Ronaldo having an early run, and he's got in behind Andrea Barzagli, looking to tee up Cristiano Ronaldo. In towards Cristiano Ronaldo, he spotted the run there from Ronaldo, superbly Marcelo. Ronaldo just couldn't quite get on the end of the cross. Yeah, it's a lovely ball in Marcelo. See Ronaldo just flips out to the far post, great movement from him, lovely ball in. Alexandro does enough. Modric in there in front of Mario Mandzukic, now Danny Carvajal, Luka Modric. Running. Ronaldo's coming in and he's got there again! And Real Madrid strike twice in quick succession, and it's two on the night for Cristiano Ronaldo. Fletch is like slow motion. Ronaldo's the only one moving in the box, anticipating what Luka Modric is going to do. You could see the goal coming a few seconds before. He's the one thinking. He's pulling this back. Everybody else is just ball watching. And what a lovely finish by him, what a lovely finish by the superstar. M Mandzukic is half asleep here, Modric nicks in, watch Ronaldo's movement. He's the one bursting into the box, look, just in case, bang. Modric not even looking, just hooking it into the danger area, hoping and hoping the way 
world's greatest goal scorer was there. Well, it's a special goal, not just because it's been scored in a Champions League final. That's his 600th goal in his career for club and country. I should I, should I say his remarkable career for club and country. And there were three minutes and six seconds. And you speak about Juve's defence, you can see the three. Just over an hour to Madrid. Carvajal's playing much further forward as well as in his second half. Has done all the way through it. Here's Ronaldo. Here's Ronaldo. Quadrado tackle, free kick. Yellow card. Still carrying Benzema and now Marcelo. Ronaldo was in there. It was half a chance, but it was a chance all the same, and he knows it. Yeah, it was a hard chance. Tries to open his body up, doesn't he? And try and direct it in. The taste was on the cross. It's exclusively live again every game on BT Sport from August, the playoff round which features Liverpool. Through to the final in Kiev of the Europa League, the same. Every game exclusively live from September. The momentum turner for Casemiro. Here's Ronaldo running in space. Bale trying to get into the box. Ronaldo's seen him. Bale's arriving but didn't get there in time. What a block by Benucci. He was in Gareth, wasn't he? He thought he was getting hit as well. What a lovely block. Ronaldo to stick this one in. Not this time. In 27 years since AC Milan to retain this trophy, the first team in the Champions League era of the competition. Well, there is the full-time whistle, and it's Real Madrid again. It's Real Madrid for the 12th time. The duo decima is complete in Cardiff for the Spanish champions, the most successful team in the history of the competition, and the first one to retain the trophy since AC Milan did it 27 years ago. It's heartbreak for Gianluigi Buffon, but it's delight for Cristiano Ronaldo. And the Royal Club of Spain are kings of Europe again. Yeah, they've been the best team, I believe. The best team in the world. And they've gone along and won the European Champions League yet again. Very dominant in the second half. And ran away with it in the end. Yeah, I don't Although see Ronaldo's why. obviously kind of getting older. But well, he, he doesn't show it, though, does But he? is he? You know, he says he can go on yeah. till he's 40, you know, and you'd never argue against that the shape he's in and yeah. the performances he's putting in on the big stage but you can even see the areas where this Madrid team can improve you know if they were to get David De Gea in goal and make a couple of outfield changes as well there's no reason why they can't dominate for years to come mm. I think it was also the way that, that Zidane's allowing Cristiano Ronaldo to manage himself and manage his body and playing a part in that yeah. is, is, is only going to add to the, the longevity that this guy's going to be able to keep playing I mean he's a, a fantastic specimen anyway but the amount of the nutrition, the detail that he goes in with his body, getting himself ready for this stage of the season, the back end, the business end of the season, is, is, is something to marvel the, at. The, the debate always rages on, doesn't it? Messi or Ronaldo, but it, it, certainly Ronaldo in the last 12 months or so hasn't done himself any harm. Well, look, I mean, we can't sit here and, and dismiss Messi. We all know he's an absolute genius and deserves to be up there with Cristiano. Listen, the both of them are on a different planet to, yeah. to, to all of us yeah. that have gone before. Um, the numbers that they're both posting regularly and consistently, every it, year, it, it's difficult to split them. Yeah. They're different players as well. Different types of players. Different kinds of footballers. But two Let's appreciate today. both of them. Yeah, I think you appreciate both. They're different. But in terms of longevity, consistency at this top end of the game, even that man there, Zinedine yeah. Zidane, would say it, that he couldn't compete on it at this level for that long. Yeah. Madrid have done it again, Champions League winners in Cardiff in 2017, 12 wins and counting for the greatest of all European club sides, nobody does it better than Real Madrid. Yeah, brings back memories but it's a wonderful achievement again, the poor Juve, players watching them celebrate the fireworks go off, lonely, lonely place but they'll live to fight another day. Congratulations to Real Madrid. Well, the 
be flying back to Madrid tonight. Well, they're not going to celebrate with the supporters until tomorrow because they were so late getting home last season. But while the celebrations continue here on the